there's been a lot going on in the Fundy YouTuber world. It feels like I finally got the balls to basically be honest. I want to address all the drama. There have been so many videos made about this topic already, so many reactions to reactions to reactions. I'm going to try to add something new uh, by making it all about me. We already shot a video where we attempted to answer the question, is Dave deconstructing? Could he be on the path of deconstruction? And then he and Bethany came out with a video saying, Dave is deconstructing. I just, I didn't feel tied down anymore to like basically anything that would keep me from fully questioning my mm. beliefs and my faith. So I had to throw that in the trash and start over. Thanks a lot, Dave. He kicked his sock off and I threw it at him and it's gone now, but we're, we're having it out. How many socks does he have on now? Uh, zero. Uh, deconstructing, if you're not familiar, I was confused about this, so I'll, I want to clarify. I assumed deconstructing meant that you stopped being a Christian, when in fact the term deconstruction refers to unpacking a belief system, uh, looking at its component parts, exposing any contradictions within. You might deconstruct some aspect of Christianity without necessarily walking away from the faith altogether or necessarily becoming an atheist. When you typically hear the term deconstructing, like yeah. I typically think of someone like completely deconstructing from their faith. And yes, I am deconstructing certain parts of my yeah. faith, but I personally am still very much like a believer in Jesus. Another elephant in the room I have to address, Paul and Morgan made a very good video. I've accused them in previous videos of making what I consider to be lazy, kind of generic, anti-woke content. Okay, it's getting a little exhausting, the interracial, uh, what was it, dwarf couple? And it's like, it's, it's starting to feel a little excessive. And I'm not saying that in, in any way racist, it's just like, how many are you gonna put like, I don't care at all. But with their latest series, 24 Hours With, they meet up with a another Christian YouTuber who has a different point of view from them and they attempt to find some common ground. So that's what they did with Dave and Bethany. It was good though, you said you liked it. It was good, I liked it, I yeah. enjoyed it. And it was like, they went, they traveled there, it was, there were, there were some funny edits. People, like just because we don't like, <laughs> we talk a lot about. A couple recent videos, seem to be responding to my video that I made about these Christian YouTubers make marriage look like hell. Our most viewed video on the channel by far. The one that I think we had less than a thousand subscribers when we made that video. So in this video I talk about how well, how Bethany and Paul and Morgan are basically marketing themselves as people who have advice to give about love and marriage and sex and I'm pointing out that hey y'all's unions don't always seem to be in a great place and I'm not confident that you are the people that our nation's youth should be turning to uh, for marriage advice. Some of the biggest names uh, on Christian YouTube have provided some stark bone chilling examples of why marrying someone who you have not had sex with maybe isn't a recipe for a happy and fulfilled life. It's now with Dave and Bethany's most recent video, uh, their relationship is, is cast in a much different light. Like that's my dream to do like YouTube or social media with you. Mm -hmm. So anytime we get to, even if we don't do it that often, so we have to kind of get back. <laughs> Dave talks very uh, openly about how much he loves Bethany. They come off as a little flirty. They're having a difficult conversation about their differences and beliefs. And the whole time Bethany is really supportive and it's a very open, honest and mature conversation. I think that we are uniquely gifted to love each other and work through a relationship like this. In that same video, Dave says, wow, when we hung out with Paul and Morgan, you could really tell that they loved each other. And I really admired how Paul treated his wife. And they are just so kind to one another. Like Paul is so kind like, taking care of Morgan and Morgan's like so kind to him. They're just an awesome couple. Like we are genuinely yeah. inspired by their marriage and by them yeah. being here. I yeah. Mean, I was inspired by Paul, but the time they left, uh, I was, I was, I had a couple thoughts. One was like, I really like them kind of like, I wish they would yeah. stay that sort of thing. 
because I, I thought they were great. We would totally you know, hang out totally with them if they lived here and all this. And I thought I was particularly inspired by Paul and the way that he treated Morgan with yeah. respect and with care and looked out for her. And, and uh, it just, I liked their dynamic and I liked the, the way they related to each other in a lot of ways. I, yeah. I felt inspired to be a better husband to Bethany. So. Yeah. It all just felt a little on the nose. Like maybe they know that this video of mine is out there. This couple, ooh, you can just feel how much they do not like each other. There have been times when I've done something or said something to Morgan that's been so hurtful. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, it's nice knowing, it's nice knowing that she can't go anywhere. There, I know I'm not the only one who's said this about their relationship. It just felt a little, a little specific and a little pointed. And f fair enough. If I'm wrong, if I didn't see things, then, you know, that's, 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 that's how it always is on the internet. So I fully expect there to be comments on my previous video saying, ha ha, we told you that you can't know everything about a couple just by watching a few videos online. And that's true. I'm continually astounded by these randos on the internet that think that they can watch your videos and create some sort of like oh, well-framed really. understanding of who you guys are. These are people, again, who are marketing themselves as relationship experts or at least as people who have advice to give. And I can only go off what they put online. So if they, the curators of their online social media presence, didn't curated to the point where I could see the good side of their marriage like that's that's on them that's their job that's their job to to put that out there if it exists um, I'm glad to know it does Bethany says that um, Bethany talks in the 24 hours with video about how she feels like people are rooting for their demise of their relationship in some of these cases I feel like these people really do want our like they do want to see our relationship fall apart sure. even though they might be like we hope you and Bethany stay together they don't really hope that right. and that's kind of become apparent with a lot of these people and I can understand if you watch my video you might conclude from the bitchy tone pardon my French that I might find it funny or in some way uh, satisfying if they were to break up. I don't feel that way at all. I don't want anyone to break up. I don't want anything bad to happen to anyone. I just feel like the whole purity culture message is a bad one and I want to counter it and criticize it. And that's all. Oh, hey, Angel from Heaven here popping in to say, it's interesting to think back on how uh, a lot of snarkers, myself included, uh, assumed that Dave was unhappy with Bethany and was staying with Bethany because of Christianity. And because of Christianity, he felt like he just had to deal with whatever problems they had. Where now, it, looking back, it's clear that the issue uh, was what was making him miserable was Christianity. And it was because of his love for Bethany that he was forcing himself to stick it out with Christianity. And, and I wanted to, I wanted Bethany. And I love her. And so this is just going to cause problems in our relationship. So I was just like, all right, I believe, God, I believe that the Bible is your word and I accept this authority and blah, blah, blah. And I just kind of tried to push myself over the edge to make it work. And it's just, you know, it's interesting how wrong, yeah, how wrong you can be. And I love that I was wrong. And I love love. And love wins. And that's all. There are a few other points I don't want to salvage from the previous video that we filmed. First of all, Dave's name spelling. I also feel a deep understanding and kinship with Dave. Like I said, I was homeschooled, so was he. I've heard people wonder out loud, why does he go by Dave? Like, why is it D-A-V with an accent over the top? And that is so homeschool core. Like, that is the homeschool sense of humor to a T. Like, and also, like, maybe I'm 35. I think he's a little younger, but it's also the age we are, millennials. But it's just that sense of humor of just, like, I'm just doing it to be random. I'm so, uh, I'm just so off the wall. I, why did I do it? Because I could, that's why. <laughs> that's just the kind of wholesome, harmless fun that people from that world really enjoy. Second of all, Bethany's anti-feminist stance that she expresses in her and Dave's Barbie movie review. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen Barbie movie, 
Uh, there's a Ken doll character, and Ken obviously was made for Barbie. Um, they're both toys that came out of a factory, and Ken's whole world revolves around getting uh, approval from Barbie that he never really gets, and because of that, his world kind of implodes, and he has to rebuild himself. I don't know why this is sounding so familiar. Anyone can take a screenshot and make who, the happiest person alive look mad. <laughs> and during the whole review, Bethany is like, ugh, feminism, boo, bad, I don't like it. Bethany, for some reason, can't see that her whole life online, where she has a whole course of teaching people how to F better. My son's here, so I don't want to <laughs> say. She's having Dave spray whipped cream into her mouth, and she's talking about how he said that she's the dish he's most looking forward to eating on Thanksgiving. Does she really think that this sexually liberated life that she gets to live would exist without feminism? That's a real question that needs answering because, hello, it wouldn't. Like, you, it's just, it drives me crazy to see women like Bethany enjoying and benefiting from feminism in so many different ways and but just just because because it's 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 left wing they don't like it and they don't approve of it and they hate it i also want to talk about how much more approachable and down to earth bethany comes off in paul and morgan's video I found her a lot easier to watch than i do in her girl defined videos like conservative christians are like we can't follow y'all anymore you're basically like becoming feminists and it's like have you seen like all the stuff we're posting paul talked about how on they are but once the cameras start rolling. They are very high energy. <laughs> like as soon as that camera goes on and you heard Bethany's yeah. like intro. Today on the Girl Defined Show, we are so excited to have Paul and Morgan. Immediately she like dove in talking a mile a minute. Yes. And I, like it took me a minute to like process. <laughs> And it seems like Bethany has this YouTube persona that she feels like she has to live up to that she invented way back in 2010 or whenever their channel started. God designed sex to be super pleasurable for like our enjoyment. And so it's like, I've never experienced that. I love a good like new experience. <laughs> I love adventure. This is like the ultimate adventure. And and now she feels like she just can't get away from it. And I would encourage her to reconsider because I think there's actually a much broader audience for her actual more natural self than for this uh, extremely put on hyper uh, hyper feminine version of herself that she that she does for Girl Defined. I film for Girl Defined. It's kind of like you have this mode for better or for worse and it's like you just kind of get into this like camera mode. It's fun and it's kind of like you get in this like you're on camera and so you're kind of over dramatic about stuff but people take it so like weird and just like can you believe it's like it's just you're kind of being like over the top yeah. for the camera. This side of me is so much more of like my real self, like the 24 hours with and um, because I'm not teaching, like so much of what people see of me hmm. on the Girl Defined channel and it might be just like change it, but it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do it. Uh, in the 24 hours with videos, as we see signs of Dave's impending deconstruction, you hear him talk about relativism in the Bible. Your view is one that the Bible should just be this clear thing we all sort of have access to and the Holy Spirit just uh -huh. teaches us what to believe. Well, you got tons of groups out there who all claim the Holy Spirit as their teacher. Oh, well, you ever, you're familiar with the expression, don't be so open-minded that your brain falls out? Rude. Dave goes out of his way to say, and he and Bethany's video, they're like, oh, we love Paula Morgan, blah, blah, blah. So obviously he didn't take offense. I'm taking offense for him. Uh, get up off Paul. You know. Fundamentalist Christianity is ultimately a political position and not a spiritual pursuit. Being a Christian shouldn't mean that you're anti-gay marriage or anti-trans or anti-woke black elves, Paul couple from the i don't know what the official name was but they're ultimately like hobbits mm -hmm. fine oh and then there's another interracial couple fine and then there's another interracial couple and it's kind of like okay it's getting a little exhausting the interracial uh what was it dwarf the bible does not address these modern questions of gender and sexuality as clearly as fundamentalists would have you think that it does where that the bible says things that are anti-homosexuality 
it. But there's also verses that says, if a man looks at a woman in lust, he's already committed adultery uh, in his heart. And if your eye causes you to sin, you should pluck out your eye. And somehow fundamentalists know that that verse is not meant to be taken literally, which is, uh, which is just great. <laughs> they, they can tell that. And we know uh, from what... Paul has complained about uh, what women wear to the gym. We know that he's looked at, at women in lust. She had a long sleeve shirt tied around her waist. And I was like, oh, interesting. And then afterwards, I saw her over in the workout area lifting weights, still had the long sleeve shirt around her waist. And I just thought, man, I, I think she's the, the only woman in here. And she was a, a cute woman, um, dressed really well, obviously fit, dressed well. And I was like, I think she's the only woman in here who is doing that, who, who has, is covering up, so to speak, covering up. I get there's different outfits that you can wear to the gym, long shirts that kind of fall down and stuff. She had on like the tight, you know, spandex biker shorts and tight tops. So just the fact that she, you know, let's just assume she was conscious enough to do that for modesty's sake. Um, I love it. I just think that's so cool to be able to look different because she was the only one that I saw in the gym doing that being okay with looking different, um, standing out a little bit. Kudos to that woman. Kudos to that woman. Kudos to you. Jim, I noticed something and I'm going to share it. You guys take it how you want. I love you guys. Take it how you want. I noticed two females at the gym with long sleeve shirts tied around their waist, tied around their, the, the backside of their leggings, um, while they worked out. And I just wanted to share on here. I appreciated them doing that. And other Christian guys like me going to the gym. I just thought that was really cool. It's rare to see. And yet, and yet they're, they're both of his eyeballs are still firmly in his head. Calm down. So it's clear that the emphasis on uh, taking the Bible literally and uh, really, really honing in on the word of the Lord, it seems that they focus on verses that could thinly support a modern political position they, but the verses that are that are inconvenient to to a man of the world uh get 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 glossed over kind of explained away this contradiction is highlighted really well in this interaction that they have with bethany where bethany talks about how she and dave have been attending a lutheran church um, the Lutherans, I guess, are a little more loosey-goosey, open-minded than uh, the fundamentalist church that Bethany went to that's more like the church that she grew up in. You seem very much at peace mm -hmm. with him working through this stuff and figuring out like where yeah. he stands on things. What do you think, why do you think you're so at peace with that? Um, I mean, from the beginning, honestly, like um, a huge goal of mine in marriage was to not try to control my husband. If I want peace in my life, I am very much like go to the word and like my relationship with Christ is where I find that. Um, and it, it, that's not always the case for him, but like it doesn't bother me that much, which sounds crazy. Yeah, but, like your old kids, yeah. as they start to get older, start asking questions. Like they ask him questions yeah. and about the Bible or about just like, you know, whatever, something very stereotypical that like David, you might see yeah. totally different on how do you guys think you'll approach that? We're in this Lutheran church with all of this liturgy and, mm -hmm. you know, like <laughs> infant baptism and all these crazy things. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have made this transition if I had like dug my heels in, but I was excited about it and it was even though it was a little scary and that's like all because of Dave's leadership you know I view my kids as having like an incredible dad and I think they're going to be like extremely stable and not manipulated into the faith or not like coerced into like this is you need to look this way and act this way and then when they get older like ditch it I think they have a dad who's extremely authentic and genuine and in the long run to me that's like going to go so much further than him looking like this you know ideal Christian man whatever that is mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> Morgan's like, um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, it's your old marriage. You gotta figure it out. <laughs> and she's gotten pushback for how she came off as, what was the word people use? You, Morgan, were getting called. And the fascinating thing about this video. <laughs> 
What's so interesting is that Bethany is submitting to her husband's spiritual leadership. I thought that's what good, uh, dedicated Christians did. They they followed their husband. They submitted. Submission. Leading and submitting. It is a really, like, I think, voodoo topic. It's almost like it hasn't occurred to Paul and Morgan that when you tell women to submit to their husbands, different women are going to submit to different things because the world isn't made up of of a, j just a bunch of different Paul and Morgans, which I know is an unpleasant fact for them to confront. When Bethany is wondering uh, with Paul, like, why is it that Girl Defined gets so much flack? Haters, criticism videos, you guys get a ton of it. Girl Defined, once again. Girl Declined. Girl Defined 2. Girl Defined. The new Girl Defined video. Girl Defined posted a video. No, I saw a video, I know I did. 33 million views oh. reacting to you guys. Yeah. I'm just like, well, well, first off, what do you think is so appealing about people watching videos on you? Like, why is there so much interest yeah. around you guys? I mean, honestly, I have been trying to figure that out. Um, I don't know if it's like the dumb blonde stereotype or if it's cause like we're sisters. Like I don't, I've wondered that. Like why is there just like this explosion of people that love to make cringe videos about us? I think one of the reasons is because Bethany in her perky, what I'm calling a persona for her girl to find videos. I think she just reminds a lot of people of the kind of gal that really rose to the top of the social strata in a mid 2000s, in an early 2000 youth group setting. Like that is the ideal fundamentalist teenage girl. She's perky, she's happy. Uh, she's bubbly all the time, no matter what. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I identify as a as a curmudgeonly little goblin creature. Like this, this woman's channel and the the accusations that she's bringing. To she keeps saying this woman, this woman. I keep forgetting that I am a woman. I see myself as a as a little gnome. And I always felt like you know, do I fit in here? Probably not. And that was my first step away from mainstream Christianity, I would say. Since Dave ruined my last video where I was going to speculate on whether or not he was deconstructing, I want to have a new prediction. I think that Bethany is also on her way out. Bethany is, at her core, a girl boss. And I think once she sees that there's a much bigger audience for this more easygoing side to her personality, once she sees that a lot of people are interested in seeing a mixed faith couple interact and navigate their differences, I think that's going to be the push for her away from Girl Defined, which has been kind of a flagging, stagnant brand for a while. Then I think she's going to revel in not being such a butt of jokes as she is with the Girl Defined brand and people are going to suddenly take what she has to say seriously instead of just making a reaction like oh my god can, can, can you can you can you believe this this gal and I think she's going to really like that and I think it's going to push her further down the path that Dave has already tried. Dave mentions her harmful beliefs and he mentions them in a way where it seems like he doesn't necessarily disagree with the idea that they are in fact harmful. Somebody who has a different point of view who is pointing out that they think your view is harmful and stuff like that. So critic levels, maybe hater, maybe hater is the, is the premium package. Level one is, um, you know, the bronze package, which is like, uh, or silver, which is, um, I don't know, just like, just like somebody who disagrees with views, thinks your views are harmful. I think once you stop being Christian or at least stop being fundamentalist, it's really hard to hold on to any anti-gay, anti-trans rhetoric that you may have had before. I think that she will probably always be nominally Christian, but I think that she's going to probably be a more and more progressive flavor of Christian. The last funny thing I want to mention is that in my previous video that we had to scrap, uh, I mentioned like, oh, you guys should really collaborate with Zelf on the Shelf, which is this really great, really adorable uh, ex-Mormon duo that made a video saying, hey, uh, yeah, oh my God, Dave, we love you so much. Oh, we hope you're deconstructing. Well, to the degree that you want to him single-handedly calling out all three of them is so cool. I know, I know. 
And I was like, oh, Dave and Bethany really should collab with Elf on the Shelf. That would be so great. And then in their video, they hinted that they, they, they would be open to that and that they might be going with them to Costa Rica. So I, I know I said, like, I don't hope anything for anyone's lives. I don't want to have, like, a real-life influence on anyone. Um, I really hope that that happens. I hope they make a video. Um, yeah, I hope they go to Costa Rica. I hope they do mushrooms while they're there. I can't wait to see what happens. Like, I did not think. I thought, like, oh, man, I'm so done with the fundies. Like, whatever. I don't... It, I'm probably not going to do a lot more on this. But now I'm like, things are happening. Like, the plot has thickened. I'll clean the lens now. I'll clean the lens of my of my spittle. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, click the bell so that you see when we post. We want to post, and we would post every day if we could, but we have a baby. So, uh, uh, there he goes. There he goes. He's so sick of it. Okay, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. We're all out of cookies. Oh, God. Stop now. Wrap! 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 Let's do cookies!